He is known for being a German polymath, geographer, naturalist, explorer, and proponent of romantic philosophy in science. He is recognized for his quantitative work on botanical geography and his advocacy of long-term systematic geophysical measurement. His name is Friedrich Wilhelm Heinrich Alexander von Humboldt. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was Friedrich Wilhelm Heinrich Alexander von Humboldt, a German polymath, geographer, naturalist, explorer, and proponent of romantic philosophy in science. Born on September 14, 1769, in Berlin, Germany, Humboldt's insatiable curiosity and passion for the natural world led him to embark on a groundbreaking expedition to the Americas between 1799 and 1804. During his explorations, Humboldt ventured deep into the heart of the Americas, traversing vast territories and documenting them from a modern Western scientific perspective. His meticulous observations and detailed descriptions provided invaluable insights into the landscapes, flora, fauna, and indigenous cultures of the region. Humboldt's exploration of the Americas was not merely a quest for knowledge but a pioneering effort to understand the interconnectedness of the natural world. One of Humboldt's significant contributions was his proposal that the lands bordering the Atlantic Ocean were once joined. This groundbreaking idea challenged prevailing notions of continental drift and laid the foundation for the modern understanding of plate tectonics. His work on botanical geography also established the groundwork for the field of biogeography, revolutionizing our understanding of plant distribution and diversity. During his expeditions, Humboldt also ventured into the heart of South America, exploring the vast landscapes of the continent. He journeyed to Caracas, Venezuela, where he ascended the Avila Mount, studying its geology and vegetation. Humboldt also explored the Orinoco River, documenting its diverse flora and fauna. His travels took him to the Casiquiare Canal, a natural canal connecting the Orinoco and Amazon rivers, and he ventured into the mysterious Lake Parim and the Rupununi Savanna, unraveling their secrets. Humboldt's expeditions in the Americas had a profound impact on the world. His meticulous documentation and scientific approach laid the groundwork for numerous disciplines, including biogeography, geomagnetic and meteorological monitoring, and environmentalism. Humboldt's holistic perception of the universe as one interacting entity, as captured in his multivolume treatise, Cosmos, introduced concepts of ecology and shaped the foundations of environmentalism. Today, Humboldt is revered as the father of ecology and the father of environmentalism. His expeditions and scientific contributions continue to inspire and guide researchers, explorers, and environmentalists, reminding us of the profound interconnectedness of the natural world and the importance of preserving and understanding it for future generations. Alexander von Humboldt, born in Berlin, Prussia, on September 14, 1769, was the son of Alexander George von Humboldt, a major in the Prussian army. His father's connections and wealth provided him with opportunities for education and exploration. After his father's death in 1779, Humboldt's mother, Maria Elizabeth Collum, played a significant role in his upbringing, hiring renowned tutors for him and his brother Wilhelm. In 1787, at the age of 17, Humboldt studied finance at the University of Frankfurt and later matriculated at the University of Göttingen in 1789. There, he met Stephen Jan van Guns, a Dutch medical student, and embarked on a scientific excursion to the Rhine. In Mainz, he encountered George Forster, a naturalist who had sailed with Captain James Cook. Inspired by Forster's tales, Humboldt embarked on his first sea voyage, visiting England, the Netherlands, and France. During his travels, Humboldt met Sir Joseph Banks, president of the Royal Society, who became a lifelong friend and supporter. Banks introduced Humboldt to his extensive herbarium and shared botanical specimens for study. This encounter fueled Humboldt's passion for exploration and scientific inquiry. To prepare himself as a scientific explorer, Humboldt pursued a diverse range of studies. He learned commerce and foreign languages in Hamburg, studied geology under A. G. Werner at the Freiburg School of Mines, delved into anatomy at Jena under J. C. Loder, and honed his astronomical skills under F. X. von Zach and J. G. Kohler. Humboldt's early years laid the foundation for his future expeditions and scientific achievements, fueling his curiosity about the world and his desire to explore the Americas. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.